Hello, Craig Johnson here. I want to welcome you here to PTCross.com and to this free seminar giving you an overview of how the PTCross.com website works and what you can do with it and how you can use it to help your business to look up those problem part numbers and quickly identify alternatives that you may already have on your rack to sell. So I'm going to be sharing some screens here and I'm going to take you through a guided tour and just want to welcome you here because I know you have your time is valuable and I, I want to respect that. So I'm going to cut right to it, give you a chance to see what we can do. So I'm loading the ptcross.com website and as you can see once you get here to this website uh, it'll give you somewhat of an overview in a simple sense itself. There's a quick video here where you can see a one minute version of this. You can see how many different belts we have and all of that kind of stuff and the packages that we offer. We've got a free trial, a monthly subscription and a yearly which is our best value and our most popular plan. If you're unsure you can get a free trial and you can at any time ask us a question right on the spot. Now if you go to our members login you can jump in with your um, login and password if you're already a member. So I'm going to log in and it will jump you directly to the belt finder, the search engine part of the site. If you've been there before it will show you the last search that you've made. Um, if not, it'll just say enter part number and we're going to start out with a very simple search, A100. So A100, there's 18 matches found for that within 18 brands. So you can click through the, the list and find the, the brand that you want. And then uh, I'll just show you the browning. So an A100, an A, B, C, all of those types of belts are very, very common. But this is designed to show you that if there's more than one manufacturer that has a part number, this will show them to you directly here. And you can choose which, which uh, brand that you want to look up. This will show you the dimensional verification of all of the aspects of the belt, 102 inch outer circumference for example, a one half inch top width, uh, that it's a conventional wrapped V-belt, it's a Browning A100, you can see all of that. And then when you're logged in you'll have this matching brands button. The matching brands button is how you can translate that to what you may have on your shelf. So if you're a, a Gates belt seller you can go right here and see the Gates uh, part numbers for that Browning A100. Gates has an A100 as well, but they also have a 65100 or a 6378. Uh, all of these belts inside of the Gates world are going to have the, the same attributes as the Browning A100 for dimensions and uh, size and scope. And so that, that's how you can quickly cross to that Gates belt that you're looking for. If ever you want to start over, just click on the belt finder logo and it will jump you back to the to the search. You can do the same search you did or you can just X out and then hit a part number 7543042 in this case is part of our example. And the 7043042 does not have more than one brand with that part number. It jumps you directly to the brand, in this case an MTD or Cub Cadet. So this seems to be a lawnmower belt, more than likely. It's a Kevlar dry wrapped belt. Uh, it has all of the the wrap and the cord of aramid in there. It has a 105 inch outer circumference, a 21 30 second inch top width. Again, you can go to your matching brands and you can see who's got a belt that will match that and it appears that D&D Power Drive has three different belt numbers that will match that belt in this case. Again, we'll click back over to the belt finder. And this time I'm going to search for an M44272. 
Again, this is an obscure part number. This is going to go directly, more than likely, to a straight brand, and it goes indeed to John Deere, M44272. Again, it's a Kevlar wrapped V belt. It's a 80 inch outer circumference, a top width of a half an inch. And you can click on matching brands here and see that uh, the John Deere M44272, and there are 12 brands in our system that match that belt. So if you sell any of these brands, you're, you've got it made. So just for fun, let's, uh, let's grab the MBL equivalent. They've got a 4LK800, and uh, you can see that that belt um, will match in every, every way, shape, and form. The only difference is it's got an MBL brand and a part number of 4LK800 instead of M44272. Um, this brings me to the PTX number. Our PTX number is, the, is our part number for all of the belts that match in terms of dimensions and attributes. So a PTX number of UZF8NT will take you directly to this belt configuration. Now, if you ever have need to look up a PTX number, just come over here and click on look up a PTX number. And uh, I'll just give you an example of 28V Victor R Radio 6C Charlie. Okay. And this will bring you to a PTX lookup. It's a generic, and the part number is not applicable because you already have the PTX number. You can see it's a hexagonal double V belt and it's 80.4 outer circumference, 77 inch inside circumference, a half inch uh, top width. In this case it would be the top width between the widest point of the V there. It's a double V belt and it's a 10 millimeter depth on it. You can see here who's got a matching brand for that and it'll jump you directly to that list. And it looks like we've got a Bando, a D&D, &D, an Opti Belt, and a Pix. If you happen to sell Pix belts, you can go to your rack and get a AA77 belt. And you can see here that in, in that view, it's a Pix AA77. Uh, part number is AA77. It has all of the same attributes here. And again, you'll note that 28 Victor Radio 6 Charlie is the PTX number on that belt. Um, one other thing to note, when you're logged in, it shows you're logged in as the login that you've got. If you click on that, that'll take you to your account home where you can update any of your account details. You can, uh, you can change your credit card on file if you're doing a subscription and you want to update your card, things like that. And then if you ever get, feel like you're stuck here, just go back here to the top link and click on Look Up Belts. It'll take you right back into the belt finder where we began with this overview and uh, you'll be right back in business looking up belts. I want to show you one other view of this. We'll go back to an A100 here. I've logged out and now it says welcome guest and it'll invite me to log in or to register. So if I look at, at this A100 as a, as a guest I can still find out that there's a Browning A100 but you can see here that there is no matching belt button there. So if I'm a, an end consumer and I look up this Browning A100, I can find a PTX number for the belt. I can find that Browning has it and I can confirm the dimensions. But I have to find a member of this uh, site in order to, to help me figure out what belt I need. So that's the advantage that members have. Uh, is that they'll have this lookup button with the matches whenever they're logged in. Hello, Craig Johnson here. I want to welcome you here to this webinar where we're going to give an overview of the PT Cross system, how it works, and what it can do for you. We're going to be looking up a few different part numbers, and you'll see just how easy it is to find the dimensions and then find the matching alternative brands for those part numbers and then we'll give you some contact information and how you can get a hold of us if you have any questions and I want to remind you that we do have a free trial of this you can try it 
for yourself and get the uh, the idea on your own machine. So here we go.